Investigative efforts should be prompted by a claim by renowned American investigative journalist Seymour Hirsch that accuses the U.S. of being responsible for the sabotage. Extraordinary revelations made by Seymour Hirsch include the abuse of prisoners at Abu Ghraib in Iraq and the U.S. atrocities committed during the Vietnam War. Here are a few responses. Even though Hirsch's journalistic inquiry cannot be considered source material, Kremlin Press Secretary Dmitry Peskov claimed that it is a very important piece, which must provoke the acceleration of the international probe. Yet, on the other hand, we see moves to end such an international probe covertly. German, Swedish, and Danish investigations into the explosions are independent and have yet to yield conclusive findings. Even the suspicion that there had been a Foreign Sabotage Act, in this case, has so far not been substantiated, German Public Prosecutor General Peter Frank stated last week. The Nord Stream Pipeline's demise set a very dangerous precedent, according to Piskoff, who cautioned that if someone committed such a thing once, they could do it anywhere in the world a second time. He continued that few nations in the world could pull off such sabotage. German, Maximilian Krah of the German of Party told Sputnik that German Chancellor Olaf Scholz's silence regarding the recent revelation by renowned U.S. investigative journalist and Pulitzer Prize winner Seymour Hersh that U.S. Navy divers planted explosives to destroy the Nord Stream pipelines last year speaks volumes. Maximilian Krah, a member of the European Parliament, stated that Schultz's silence about the news suggested that he must have been informed of the clandestine sea operation conducted last summer under the guise of a NATO-Baltic Sea exercise. According to Kra, the sabotage ended the Schultz administration's protracted problems. The issue is that this is seriously impoverishing Germany and destroying its economy. Additionally, the billions of dollars that Germany spent on this gas project, which gave us affordable electricity, were lost, but the coalition in power in Germany doesn't seem to care. Officially speaking, Schultz is ignorant. It seems that we reside in a democracy, added he. According to Hirsch, cheap Russian gas helped the German economy by fostering the nation's post-war ascent to wealth and reducing Europe's reliance on the United States. He also quoted a source with first-hand knowledge of U.S. operations planning who claimed that Norway was instrumental in helping the U.S. plan the attack and conceal it from the Swedish and Danish fleets. According to Kra, the German opposition was aware that NATO was responsible for the sabotage. Therefore, all accusations against Russia were ludicrous and unfounded. In a series of deliberate leaks, Hirsch said that the White House attempted to charge Moscow with self-sabotage but never gave a specific reason other than retaliation. Sweden Sweden declines to make any comments about the Nord Stream research. For reasons of confidentiality, the Swedish Prosecution Authority and the Foreign Ministry declined to comment on the claims made by the American investigative journalist that U.S. military divers destroyed Russia's Nord Stream pipeline. The competent authorities in Sweden are starting a criminal investigation, according to the Foreign Ministry's press office, which declined to provide further details. Additionally, the prosecutor's press office claimed that the investigation into the Nord Stream sabotage is ongoing and that because the matter is confidential, prosecutors cannot comment. Three of the four strings of the Nord Stream 1 and 2 underwater pipelines experienced explosions on September 26. These pipelines are intended to carry 110 billion cubic meters of Russian gas to Europe annually. U.S. military helicopters routinely and, on several instances, circled for hours above the scene of the Nord Stream pipeline mishap near Bornholm Island, according to Flight Radar 24 data from late September. On September 1, 2, and 3, a U.S. Navy Sikorsky MH-60 or Seahawks helicopter spent hours hovering above the vicinity of the ruptured natural gas pipelines in the Baltic Sea near Bornholm. According to Hirsch, Norway helped the U.S. prepare the strike and hide it from the Swedish and Danish Navy by laying the explosives during a NATO exercise in the Baltic Sea last summer. Government of the United States, in response, the White House labeled the allegations as false and complete fiction. However, representatives of the U.S. government have publicly stated that the Nord Stream would be dismantled. Here are a few of these videos. If Germany, if, uh, if Russia invades, uh, that means tanks or troops crossing the, uh, the, the border of Ukraine again, then uh, there, will be, uh, we, there will be no longer North Stream 2. We, we will bring an end to it. 
But how will you how will you do that exactly? Since the project and control of the project is within Germany's control, we will. Uh, I promise you, we'll be able to do it. Ultimately, um, this is also a tremendous opportunity. It's a tremendous opportunity to once and for all remove the dependence on Russian energy, and thus to take away from uh, Vladimir Putin the weaponization of energy as a means of advancing uh, his uh, imperial designs. Uh, that's very significant, and, and that offers tremendous um, strategic opportunity for, um, for the years to come. But meanwhile, we're determined to do everything we possibly can uh, to make sure that the consequences of all of this are not borne by citizens in our countries or, for that matter, around the world. Senator Cruz, uh, like you, I am, and I think the administration is very gratified to know that Nord Stream 2 is now, as you like to say, a hunk of metal at the bottom of the sea.